exemplar an example of a project let's see what this is about you have the project title designing a basketball hoop why use a circle all right introduction the purpose of this project was to determine the most suitable shape for a basketball hoop the number of goals scored using the traditional hoop was compared to the number of goals scored using a square a rectangle and the hexagonal hoops okay so we're comparing a circle with the square the rectangle and the hexagon hexagon at six sides data collection the area enclosed by the circular hoop was calculated and hoops were made using frames to enclose an area this the dimensions the dimensions of the frames were calculated to ensure that a standard basketball could pass through each frame right the area enclosed by a standard basketball is 1641 centimeters square so the standard basketball hoop is a circle right here efforts were made to use dimensions which would give the pro approximate area the hoops in the different shapes were made with the enclosed areas shown so you have the square 1640 cm squared rectangle 1640 cm squared hexagon 1644 cm squared so they tried to get the various shapes enclosing the same area and I guess the pi r square would come into play right has to come into play when calculating the area of the circle as for the hexagon you have to use some form of trigonometry Triang cut it into a triangle one two three four five six triangles and calculate the area of one and multiply it by six or maybe all right you have to have the angles within the hexagon but anyway data collection sheet name of student shape number of goals circle square rectangle hexagon A circle square rectangle and hexagon now the presentation data I guess this should be the presentation of data the table below shows the number of goals scored by each student using of each of the loop using each of the loop each student made 25 goal attempts for each shape hence there were a total of 300 goal attempts made okay So, you have Alan, Brianna, and Chris. Each of them tried the circle, the square, the rectangle, the hexagon. Okay, good. The graph shows the percentage of goals scored for each of the shapes. So the circle, square, rectangle, hexagon. And then Alan here with a circle. Alright, let's look at a circle. Success. Percentage success, 78.7. But the other shapes were really low. Hexagon coming second place. Then the square and the rectangle. Let's see the percentage of 
scored goals out of 154. So 38.3, the highest for the circle. Then after that, the hexagon, then the square, then the rectangle. It's a percent success by shape. Percentage of scored goals out of 154. Hmm. Total of 154 goals scored. Or they're comparing the percentage of goals. Scored goals out of 154 here. All right. Based on this, the circle seem to be in the winning position. But the graph below shows the percentage of goals scored by each of the shapes. Circle, square, rectangle, hexagon. Now, the analysis of the data. The data collected from the experiment revealed that of the three students, Alan scored the most goals and Chris the least. Alan the most, Chris the least. Although some students were more successful in scoring, for each student, the most goals were scored with the standard basketball hoops, hoop, which was in the shape of a circle, where the success rate was 79%. Oh, this first statement here wouldn't really help us because it showed Alan scored the most, Chris the least. Maybe this was only showing that Alan was more skillful, but I don't see how that contributes to the research. What we're looking for is a percentage success among all of them when comparing the circle, square, rectangle, and hexagon. All right. So, overall, out of the 154 goals scored, 38.3% were using the circle. Okay. 25.3% the hexagon. 24% mm -hmm. and the square. 12.3%. Uh, with the square, I mean, read that again. Overall, out of the 154 goals scored, 38.3% were using the circle, 25.3% with the hexagon, 24% with the square, and 12.3% with the rectangle. Okay. Discussion and of findings and conclusion. While it is possible to construct a basketball hoop, using many different shapes, all shapes will not give the same results. A regular shaped hoop is the least suitable shape and a circular hoop the most preferred. A rectangular shaped hoop is the least suitable shape that come in last position in terms of rates. Rectangular hoop, shaped hoop is the least suitable shape, and the circular hoop the most preferred. Right. Conclusion now. Hence, in concluding a basketball, in constructing a basketball hoop, the most appropriate shape to ensure success in scoring goals is a circle. All right.